choices here. We have 15, 20, and 25. So definitely want to pick something where you can only do 8 to 12 reps. If you can do like 50 reps, then you need to find heavier weights. So if you have these in your repertoire, put those away because you're not going to need those for the strength training workout. Okay, first up, we're going to start off with a dumbbell squat. I'm starting with the 25s here. Feet are about hip width apart, and you're gonna sit back on your heels, pushing your weight back, like you're sitting in a chair. So holding the weights down beside you, pushing back. Nice good form. Your knees shouldn't come out over your toes. Remember, eight to 12 reps here. And it should be heavy enough that it's not easy. Second exercise is a dumbbell overhead press, all right? So here, we're gonna go just pressing overhead, both arms at the same time. And it's okay if you get to the end of this set and it starts to get really hard to use your legs just a little bit. So you can do a push press, a little squat and press.
probably easier way is to curl in a standing position. So two options here, curl at the bottom of your lunge, or lunge and curl at the top. Okay, fourth circuit. Moving on to some upper body work with push-ups and then some core work. First of these exercises is a push-up. Push-up from a full plank position, from the toes all the way down, all the way back up. To modify this exercise, you can drop to your knees. And that shortens the lever arm, making it a little bit easier. The second exercise in this circuit is a T-stand. This is a wonderful core exercise. It works not only your abdominal muscles, but your shoulder muscles, your hip muscles, your back muscles. So we're gonna get in this plank position here, hold the plank for a second, and then rotate our body so that our hand extends towards the ceiling. Hold that position for a second, and then rotate back down to the plank position. And then repeat this on the other side. And you can continue to alternate back and forth. With these exercises, you can do a few more reps. When you're working with weights, we're keeping the weights between, the reps between eight and 12 reps. With the push-ups and the T-stand, you can do a few more. Now we're gonna put those two together, and this is how that looks. Start with, starting with a push-up, rotating to a T-stand, and then doing a push-up in between each T-stand. training workout with a couple more core exercises, starting with a star crunch. So we will lie down supine with our limbs extended and reach opposite arm towards opposite leg, coming up into a full crunch. And then alternate sides to the other side. If you find it too challenging to get your whole shoulder and back off, you can shorten this by placing your hands behind your head and bending your knees and just shortening the lever arm this way. So star crunch is the first exercise. The next exercise is something we call a quadruped opposite arm, opposite leg raise. So getting in this all fours position, we are going to extend the right arm and the left leg at the same time. So we extend nice and long, and then we try to touch the elbow to the knee and extend. Crunch in, get a nice tight contraction in the core and the abs, and then extend while really using your glutes and your shoulder muscles. Crunch and extend. Try about 10 to 15 on one side before switching to the other side. Extend left arm, right leg, crunch, 